folks. Well, I think I'm arriving here at my shipper. Not sure where to go. But there's a sign here that says, yeah, I don't think I've ever been here. But there's a sign right there that says, Scotch plywood shipping this way. And the name of my customer is Scotch and Gulf Lumber. So hopefully I'm in the right spot. like a lumber yard. Remember my uh, co-pilot on my company tablet is still not working because the tablet still has not received this work order from Maverick. So I'm having to go by my personal Ram McNally GPS. Hopefully there's another sign up here. Uh, well, let me see where I'm supposed to go. Okay guys, I'm here in Fulton, Alabama. Just backed into the door. Talk about doing a straight line back. This is it. I want you to see just how tight the trailer fits into here. I just helped the loader spread this plastic down here on the floor and then we put these landscape timbers down he had the he had the floor marked we put a timber at every black mark right there so easy enough and then I suppose we're gonna have to cover the top with plastic too but this is you know like plywood veneer a little like eight one eighth inch thick just plywood veneer so that's it getting loaded i think this place i'm taking this to you know the warehouser plant i think they use this to make other types of plywood because i've been there a couple times before it seems like i picked up some sort of plywood product Oh, it looks like there's going to be a top top level there in the middle. So the way it works is once I get loaded, and you can see I've already they had me set my big tarps up on the trailer before I backed in, because you can't open the tarp boxes once you're backed in. So I'm assuming he'll set the tarps up here on the load, and then I think we just pull out there to uh, tarp and secure so that's how it works more later okay folks wanted to show you where we're at here with this load so I was wrong about the third layer he was just staging them there and then moved them around so we got two layers single there in that section and what I had to do is get up there with the plastic roll and roll it over the top and then he had me tuck it in right here because it only came down about a foot on each side and then as you can see he's put my tarps up there for me so what I've got to do now is I'm waiting on him to bring the paperwork and then I got to pull out there somewhere and throw my straps and uh, get my tarps up but that's what we got so far Veneer plywood going to West Virginia. Okay, folks. Hey, we made it to Wednesday morning. It's about 8:25 Eastern time. I am on 75 North, kind of between Chattanooga and Knoxville. I'm headed to the Churchill, Tennessee Maverick Yard, which I've never been to before. 
to do a load swap with another Maverick driver named uh, Ethan, who I've talked to on the phone a couple of times since last night. Uh, the fleet manager has uh, arranged for us to swap loads. You know, I've got this load I picked up down in South Alabama yesterday going to Buchanan, West Virginia. And he's got a load that he picked up yesterday in uh, Frederick, Maryland, roofing shingles, that delivers tomorrow in Lebanon, Tennessee. And he, he said he lives about two hours from Buchanan, West Virginia, and he's in the Maverick USA division, and he's been out on the road for three weeks. He's trying to get home. So, this will get him home. I think after he makes this delivery tomorrow, he's just gonna dead head home. And then, you know, when I deliver in Lebanon, Tennessee tomorrow, that'll put me, you know, in, in a much better place to be able to get home. Being near Nashville is a lot better on a Thursday than being in West Virginia for me. So, that'll work out good for both of us, but we're supposed to meet up at the Churchill, Tennessee yard in about, uh, oh, it's probably gonna be about three hours, a little less than three hours maybe by the time I get there. He'll beat me there, but he said that's fine. He had some equipment he wanted to swap out and uh, take a shower, you know, that sort of stuff. So that's what's going on. Just giving you a little road footage and Tennessee. Woo. And I'll mention uh, also, yesterday I had a phone conversation with a young fella named uh, Nolan. Lives uh, a bit south of Nashville. He's only 21 years old. Been working as a firefighter and doing some farm work. I think it's family has a farm but he's uh, applied at Maverick and uh, just wanted to talk and ask some questions and you know talk to talk to a real Maverick driver so that was cool uh, we talked for a good half an hour or so um, and thanks Nolan for using me as your referral um, yeah, but he's a young fella. He's already got a CDL, so he'll be coming to Maverick already with a CDL, ready to jump right into the new hire training. Do that for a couple weeks. Go out on a trainer truck for about three weeks, and then boom, he'll be solo. And he said he's thinking about doing the USA division because he doesn't he's not married, he doesn't have anything really tying him down, he doesn't have a, a house, an apartment to have to keep up with, so he's just going to be out making money. I said, man, you're going to bank so much money, it'll be amazing. <laughs> oh, so anyway, good luck with that, Nolan. Okay, well, um, I'll try to show you some of this load swap if I can. I don't even think I've showed you this load, you know, after I got loaded and talked. Um, maybe I can talk to uh, Ethan, you know, if we have time. I don't know what I'll be able to do. You know, but, uh, hopefully I'll be able to show you at least some of the Churchill, Tennessee Maverick Yard. Like I said, this will be my first time there. And, I hear it's a kind of a small facility that kind of services some glass hauling. I think there's a glass plant down the road from there. So it's a, you know, it'll be a little different than what I've shown you before. So, uh, okay, well, more later. All right, folks. I'm about to pull off of this highway into the Maverick. Churchill, Tennessee yard for the first time. Giving you a look. 
and I've been told uh, to pull into the upper yard, not the lower yard. If I can figure that out. <laughs> I think where I'm supposed to go is over here to the right. glass trailers are right in there and where I'm supposed to meet Ethan is over here I guess this would be what's called the upper yard so there's the building supposedly you know it's got a little uh, driver's lounge shower probably washer dryer that sort of stuff and I see a truck over here, it looks like it has roofing shingles on it, so I'm gonna try to back up next to that because I'm pretty sure that's the load I'm supposed to get. And that must be Ethan right there. So your 15 trailer. I'll get back to you okay folks so i've gotten parked here at the maverick churchill tennessee yard and i'm just giving you a shot of the the yard here there's the driver's lounge and the shop a few trucks and and down below there and what they call the lower part of the yard is where there's a lot of glass trailers evidently so but here's where we're at. This, this is Ethan here, right here. We're fixing to swap loads. We'll talk to him in a minute, but here's what we're doing. Ethan has already dropped his trailer. You can see it's a load of roofing shingles and we've already swapped our materials so that he's got what he needs and I've got what I need. You know, I had to give him some plastic edge protectors and a chain and a binder. Uh, and here's the load. I don't even think I showed you that yesterday, but here's the the load uh, Tarped and all that I picked up yesterday down in South Alabama um, Both it's just got straps uh, Straps under the tarps and in the back I got the straps over the tarps. <laughs> I know that's weird, but uh, I Actually got ahead of myself with the tarping and got the rear tarp on and then realized I hadn't done any straps <laughs> So I went ahead and did straps on this section. And uh, anyway, that's why it's that way. So uh, this is uh, veneer plywood, if you remember. I think I showed you some of it as I was getting loaded. Um, and it's going to Buchanan, West Virginia. And uh, my load of roofing shingles is going to Lebanon, Tennessee. So. Now, Ethan, you were telling me that you live kind of close to here? Yeah, I live about a, an hour northeast of here. Okay. All right. And how long have you been driving for Maverick? I've just been driving for almost a year, not even quite a year yet. Okay. So still kind of new, kind of new. And uh, you said you were in the USA division. Yes. Okay. So I've had people ask me recently about the USA division, um, like, you know you have to stay out what at least two weeks yeah it's at least two weeks uh two weeks out and then you get uh two days home and every additional week you stay out you get an extra so if you day. stay out four weeks you would when you come home you're supposed to get four days off yeah if you want if you want if you want it's kind of depends on what yeah. you want to do okay now another question i just got uh recently talking to a recruit 
was uh, do you go to all 48 states now you probably have not been to all 48 states having only been out here a year but yeah uh, Maverick kind of tells you that you can go to all over 48 states but usually we don't go any further west than uh, like Arkansas and Oklahoma Kansas all that like right in the middle of the but it, but states. you could you could you could yeah. okay and you probably will if you stay in that div division long enough but that's like I wonder if you go up into the northeast much have you have you ever been up like into See, the I, I live in the northeast technically in Virginia uh, okay so the, really I've been up to Connecticut okay and, like, right. through through New York City and stuff there but uh, already yeah, yeah oh. that, was, that was not fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would definitely like to avoid that. Uh, yeah, but uh, actually as far northeast as I go on a usual basis is probably uh, Pennsylvania and Maryland, maybe right. maybe Jersey. But right, that's right. That's about as far northeast as I really go. Yeah, well I'm in the Midwest region and uh, I've, I've been to Pennsylvania maybe three or four times. Maryland maybe two. I've, I've picked up at the place there in Frederick, Maryland, where you got that, yeah. I think twice. <laughs> and uh, Baltimore. I have been to Baltimore once, okay. picked up at the, the port there yeah, in I Baltimore. Up, I usually pick up right beside the port because I still don't have my Twit card. So, oh. Uh, I have to pick up right there beside it a place I think it's called B&E Storage. It's like a stainless steel coils and aluminum ingots that we usually pick up out of there. Okay. There. So that's that's uh, one difference you can see guys in the different divisions he well he lives over on the eastern side of the country so he's working this side a little more than I do you know I typically stay in the you know Oklahoma Arkansas Missouri Illinois Indiana Ohio region more so but uh, you know they'll stretch you out occasionally into different areas and, that's fine with me as long as I get home when I'm supposed to, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. You got to deal with Chicago a lot? Uh, we go to the Chicago area quite a bit, yes. Uh, you know, up up in that area, yeah. yeah. Man, it seems like the past month I've been in Chicago every week. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. That's like last year, you know, I, I went to Jackson, Michigan, which is a steady run for us out of Fort Smith. Yeah, but, I like that run. Yeah, that's a, that's one of my favorite, but I I uh I think I went up there every week for like six or seven weeks, you know. So that's yeah, that's cool. But uh, okay, was there anything else uh, we need to do or me? I mean, I know I've got to get out from under my trailer here and get under that one, but we've got all our materials yeah, swapped I do, over. I do believe so. I believe we're all good with our material here. And that's your truck right there. Yeah. So you've got a. Is that the truck you've had the whole time you've yeah. been solo? So you got a year 20? Yeah. That's pretty good. I had a student, uh, one of my referral students, uh, just went solo a week or so ago, and he got a 22 model. Oh, I, I was kind of surprised. Everyone in my class got a 21 or a 22. I was the only one who got a <laughs> 20. Uh, my luck. Well, one with electrical problems, huh? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's still pretty good. Okay, well, let's uh, give everybody another look here. That's what we're doing. And, uh, okay, well, I guess we've wasted enough time. We better get to work. I appreciate you uh, talking to me, and it was nice meeting you. No problem. It's nice meeting you. And uh, I guess we're going to get to work here and then start driving again. All right, folks. I think I'm ready to depart with this new load I'm packed in here really tight so I got to be careful pulling out of here <laughs> I told Ethan he better let me pull out first or the load he's trying to pull out of here is gonna hit my mirror so here we go giving you another look at the front of the Maverick facility Got a fresh cup of coffee. Headed to Lebanon, Tennessee, which is just east of Nashville. There's a pilot right there at the Lebanon exit, so I guess that's my target. 
I've only got about four and a half hours to get there. I mean, I could get to the customer today, but I have a delivery appointment tomorrow, 9 a.m. So we'll just get to the pilot. Camp out there. Get this delivered in the morning. Well, it was nice getting to meet Ethan there, nice kid. Been out here about a year. And I got an email, I was just having me a little bite to eat and checking my emails. And I, I've got an email from a fellow named Jason down in Texas who uh, he's been considering Maverick now for quite a while and trying to get retired out of the Air Force. And he just sent me an email that he, he got applied with Maverick and uh, used me as his referral and all excited and ready to make a big change. So congratulations, Jason, and thanks for using me as your referral. I really appreciate that. Oh, let's see if we can get turned out of here without going in the ditch. All right. Okay, well, that's that. Back on the road.